Alright, hello and welcome back to Travel Place. We're returning to Normandy and heading to Palavin. Um leaving Caden behind, unfortunately. But he hasn't recovered what the frick? Uh what? What? Oh, there's someone over there! That's a kid! Where'd he go? He's over there. I'm coming, kid! Running in dramatic slow-mo! It's gonna be great! Hey, kid! Ah, oh, this is great. You're gonna turn into a treasure mall or something. Now it disappeared. Come on, dude! Stop playing with me! <laughs> Fuck are you even doing kneeling around like that? No! Holy shit! <sighs> okay, Bob, you're a bit messed up. Just a bit, Bob. I'm just saying. You should probably go see a psychologist or something. What's Dr. Jack was doing at this hour? Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about Well, the you know. The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. Well, that's good. I prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? He's not a virtual He's intelligence. AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, ...attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrade. You're into E.D. That's cute. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. 
And there you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Well, that's good. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. I like you a lot better than the elusive man. Alright. Let's see. There's some stuff over here. What's this? Uh, system allies represents human humanity's economic policy economy to reach throughout the galaxy. Its naval forces are led by Admiral, Admiral Stephen Hackett. Okay. How do I buy any of this? Am I supposed to buy this? Uh. Ba ba Diana Alice. All right. So. I need to figure out how to get around this ship. This is a lot different. How the heck does the same ship get so many different faces throughout three games? Why the heck did I decide to change the face of the ship? Model, Alliance Shuttle. Hmm. That's nice. Uh. Damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Can I get Ru now? Thank you. Oh, this is a lot more like it. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Okay. Let's go go say hi to Joker first, though. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. That'd be nice, though. What's he doing? Commander. Where's, where's, where did you? All right. Oh, this is if I want to dock, right? Uh. Oh gosh, got to figure that out. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Oh, thank, thank you. Oh, 
Right, she died. Uh... Crew deck! Let's see if Shockwiz is still around. Oh, this is a lot more familiar. Oh. But I got her ass called it out. That's... And this is all too familiar a sight, so that's... Hmm... Alright... Let's go over the here then, I guess. Let's see... I mean, there's gotta be someone calibrating now that Garrus isn't here. So I guess this, this is my job now. So you gotta press this button over here and go over here. Look at the map. There's a map of some circles. This is a giant thing. I guess this is a gun. There's another computer, can't read what's going on it though. Man, no wonder Garrus was here all the time! Alright. Man, this is a lot more silent. Okay. There's Liara's room. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. Who are you? You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. All right. Hello, Dr. Tassoni. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Oh, yeah! Good. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. Okay. Farron has proceeded his contacts to ship an armor mod kit to Normandy. Technically legal in Citadel space, the kit's Omni gel converter and manufacturing fabricator can make a one-time modification to Shepard's armor, improving shield strength for adding to thermal clip compartments. All right. That's good. The way I may waste ammo, I'm going to need a lot of it. Uh Where did everybody go? Where's Grunt? Where's everyone? Is 
she's understandably not here, but Kasumi probably left when she didn't couldn't get the paycheck anymore, I guess. Hmm. And no fame sitting around here thinking about old memories. Huh. Weird! Weird! So empty! Engineering! Alright. Oh, that's what grunge used to be. No jack down here, or what? Nope, no jack down here, yelling at me. Alright. Uh. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or, maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You're Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. All right. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new Drive Corps is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. I'm glad to hear it, man. I spend a lot on what those upgrades. We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, that's nice. Edie is a great, great part of the team. Alright, so this is where Saeed used to be. You probably significantly had to clean this up. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? 
fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. That sounds unlikely. But well, thank you guys for watching this episode of Funful Play. So I hope you enjoyed it. We've been meeting the crew, and they all seem kind of capable and nice, and it's weird. So I hope you join next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye!